me, sir? Mind if I take a little peek at you? I promise I'll be brief. My goodness, what a strapping physique. Capable of an astounding variety of acts of violence, I imagine. What is happening? Uh, this must be the squirrel that tends the world tree. That delectable aroma. Could it be? Pardon the intrusion. Ah, yes. Amber resin. Delightfully nutty with a hint of squid ink. No. Not one for gastronomic exploration, I see. Wait, if you're Radit Hosker, why are you so different when we summon you for help? It's a long story. <laughs> but you are correct. I am indeed Radit Hosker. The one you know as Radit Hosker is merely one of my spectral aspects. And a particularly nasty one at that. I consider him so far removed from myself that he's practically a different person. Speaking of, Bitter, would you like to come out and see your friends? Back off, I'm busy! I suppose that was to be expected. Anyway, <laughs> now that I've polished off all this resin for you, would you like the seed back? It is the seed. Indeed. A seed of Yggdrasil, to be precise. <laughs> Since my dwarven tenants performed their little reconfiguration, you'll need seeds like these to open up new destinations on my tree. <laughs> Your tree, huh? Yes, my tree. Here, let me show you. So that's why good Master Brock needed an alpine seed. Clearly, you have important matters afoot. Perhaps as we travel, you can tell me the tale of your prior visit to the Land of the Elves. Sure I can. Alfheim was the first time we ever roam traveled using your temple. Freya tried coming with us, but Odin cast a spell on her. She can't leave Midgard. That's terrible. So then we fought our way through an army of Dark Elves to get to the light. You interfered in the Elf War. Not by choice. We sought to fill our Bifrost, and they attacked us. And the Dark Elves were covering it with their sticky hive stuff. When we freed it, the Light Elves came back. Things seemed better in Alfheim. <laughs> Did they now? <gasps> Alfheim. It's been so long. Not sure where the temple is from here, but that's where we'll find Groa Shrine. Broken history. Aye, not exactly an easy fix for that. I see the elves continue their war. Yeah. So much for things being better in Alpha. <laughs> Yikes. Thimble Winter hit Alfheim hard. No. Storms have plagued Alfheim's deserts long before Thimble Winter. Desert. Huh. It was once full of life, you know. And music. The Song of the Sands, he called it. Gone. <laughs> <laughs> 
Another victim of war. <laughs> Hold on. I hear something out there. Something big. It's in pain. What do you hear? Feels like some kind of animal. How could anything live in a storm like that? Plenty of caves under the desert. Not exactly a paragon of comfort, but the Dark Elves get on best they can. There, the Temple of Light. Groa's shrine is at the top. Is everything okay? Hi, old friend. Just looting Nornia's dress. We'll be right along. My dad likes Lou. Ah. Very well. Freyr never bothered returning to Alfheim, did he, Mimir? I no. I assumed the fate of his own realm took precedence. Wait, Freya's brother? Yes. Cut from a different cloth, that one. <gasps> one raven down. There's a barricade up ahead. What are those shiny rocks? Twilight stone. A rare material that can take millennia to form. Majestic, isn't it? Occasionally, the light of Alfheim will bind to a rock and crystallize, growing like moss on a fallen tree. Truly a wonder of the Nine Realms. <laughs> oh, I didn't know it could do that. Watch the exploding one!
Do you understand these poems? Oh, there's always meaning if you look hard enough, brother. It's all in what you bring to it. Freya's brother. How was he involved? Long ago, Freya of the Vanir traveled to Alfheim, where he discovered a once beautiful land devastated by war. Using his divine powers, he set about cultivating a tenuous peace among the elves. Did you mention how that peace fell apart as soon as he left? I was getting to it. You hear that? Oh, no. That's enough, please. We don't need to do this. We do not have a choice. Is that a bomb? Where the one who freed the light? Yappa! So your father said. I'm just naive, I suppose. No. Just an optimist, old friend. Tribute to Freyr, made by the elves. He must have left it here when he raced back to Vanaheim. What is this? A charm to ward off nightmares. In this case, Freyr's. Well, knowing the elves, there are probably more tributes to find. <laughs> Best we move on for now, brother. Don't think we have the right tools for this one. It's an older gate, built to promote cooperation between the elves, but it looks like it's been sealed for some time. How do we enter? Grab that wheel and I'll show you. I'll go first. Atreus, let me know when I've reached halfway. So, uh, what's happening right now? This seal is meant to represent the balance of the realm when Freyr was here. Light and dark, working together in harmony. How's that look, Atreus? Good, I think. Father, now you go. Unfortunately for Alfheim, Freyr couldn't accept his sister's decision to marry Odin. He returned to Vanaheim and left this realm to its fate. To be fair, the Aesir did set him on fire that one time. The door should have opened. Are you sure it's balanced? Yeah, but the realm isn't. Not anymore. Father, try pulling it the other way. Yeah, yeah, and here, you keep pushing forward.
Fine work, Atreus. Shall we? What's this Dark Elf statue doing in the Light Temple? That's just how they looked before the Division. The Division? Yes. The Elves weren't always split between Light and Dark, you know. This statue depicts the Elves before the war, before they discovered the power of the Light. Solid yes. The stone briefly imparts a bit of light to your axe. That's useful. Above the door, there's a light crystal. What's that sound? No sense in spoiling the surprise. I've never seen the Lake of Souls so volatile. Aye. Fimple winter, you reckon? Of course. Making the light unstable. So the base of this light well... That's the Lake of Souls. Yes. After the creation of the Nine Realms, fallen souls began to gather down in those waters. When the Elves discovered its potential, they built this temple to harness that energy. A smashing success, to say the least. Many of them became addicted to their newfound power. And thus, the Light Elves were born. Well done. Though I imagine our Light Elf friends will be less than pleased. Speaking of Light Elves... Let me try talking to them again. They may... just to let these two do their thing. <laughs> Poor souls. Here, they came across the bridges, but now the bridges are gone. I have an idea to get us across. Lucky for us, swearing off violence doesn't mean he can't disfigure some architecture. This way. The shrine awaits.
He's just looking around. He does this sometimes. Oh. <laughs> Carry on. The temple looks so different than I remember. It was all broken and covered in hive stuff last time we were here. These elves use Alfheim's light when they <laughs> the temple, and themselves by the look of it. They definitely look more dangerous than last time. Oh, those were just the foot soldiers. They'll get more dangerous the further up we go. Great. Shrine is this way, Kratos. Yeah, I know. I see. By all means, then. These things smell awful. Anything interesting this way? do seem to get rid of those things. Shall we continue? So if these elves use the light to build doors and make themselves stronger, what do the Dark Elves want with it? To return it back to its source. To them, the natural resources of Alfheim are sacred, none more so than the light itself. Aye, 
the light elf's success came at a terrible price. Alfheim's once lively desert withered into a storm-ridden wasteland soon after the creation of this temple. There's more Twilight Stone up there. You're building quite the collection of poetry, brother. Why so surprised? My people are known for their culture. Not surprised. Esteem. <laughs> Gotta be a better angle on that twilight. More light thing. elves ahead. I'll handle this. Uh, maybe that's not a great idea. <sighs> Friends, salutations. We mean you no harm. Tear. Get back. Fighting. The Dark Elves want the souls in the light left alone. But the Light Elves want to keep using them. That's the long and short of it. Aye. So then, which side is right? And not our place to say. This is an Elven call. I said as much the last time we were in Alfheim. Right. Another chest over there. How do we reach it? We cannot. Let us continue. Sure made a lot of these light doors. Mm. Fortifications. Aye, none too eager to let the dark elves run the roost again. Hey, that looks interesting.
No. Incoming! Right side! Back to it then. Let's continue our ascent, yes. Left side incoming! Is your favorite of Gavassia's poems, brother? Why would I choose a favorite? <laughs> I suppose I'll leave you to it then. <laughs> On the other side. Whoa, this kid can really jump. He's getting the hang of it. I've never seen the light elves with so much control over the temple. Yes, that's on us. He must have anointed a new temple guardian. Svartal Yoffer's counterpart. The dark elf is in the light now, too.
this mystic doesn't see us. There's twilight stone on the ground. I wonder if we could use twilight stone against them. Continue up this way. Father, over here. Here they come. Do what you must. My Lord, statue, these crystals. I've noticed them on the elves as well. I wonder, if this statue were to fall over the chasm, Still make light bridges. Now the light helps wear them. Smart. Almost there. Allow me. I dare say he's beginning to enjoy the vandalism. Pretty soon he'll be laying waste to pottery. Shall we continue? Well, at least we're getting closer. Look up. See? It feels even taller on the inside. Can't believe all this was down here.
And here we go again. Another light door. There's some twilight stone on that statue shield. But that angle isn't gonna work. You think there's any way to stop the elves from fighting each other? Had Freyr not abandoned the realm, the last of peace may have formed. But now. Can we really place all the blame on Freyr? This war started long before his arrival. But he had the power to heal this land and end the war, did he not? He made his choice. Long for Alfine, perhaps, but not necessarily for him. Well, those were all entitled to walk our own paths, regardless of where they end.
That keeps getting stuck on the wing. That looks right. Here, the last time we were here, we killed the Dark Elf King. That's unfortunate. I'd wondered what became of Svartli Offer. We had to defend ourselves, but when he died, he told us we held the wrong side. I see. Fine job, brother. This way. We're almost there. You still hear something wounded out there, Atreus? I think so. It could just be the storm. Perhaps we can investigate once we've uncovered a mysterious seer's hidden prophecy. There, the central chamber will bring us to the top. Once we find our way past yet another light door. Allow me to speed this up. The angle should work, Kratos. Well done. At your service. Your father is indeed thorough. Limitless. Limitless what? Power? Oof. Ambition? A bit vague, isn't it? mother inside last time but I can't anymore her soul is one with the light now united by forces older than Odin himself she is at peace Atreus I hope so when father went inside the light he you said went he... inside the light of Alfheim yes and yet here you stand of sound mind and decidedly not incinerated you must tell me Kratos what did you see that memory is for me alone but I felt only moments pass. Didn't feel like moments to me. I was trapped. Atreus overcame great odds to save me. One could but only imagine. Well then, Groa's triptych awaits. So, did you ever meet Groa? Many times. But she was plagued by constant visions, so... Conversation was... Difficult, to say the least.
you doing? Father, she's... she's gone. We're almost there. Huh. They've changed some stuff. Last time, there was all this hive stuff up here. So many dark elves. I... All this time, I thought the dark elves... I thought all the dark elves were... Dear? Yes? Did we help the wrong side? Hmm. Are you certain that's the right question? I... Is there a right side? Exactly. What do you think, Atreus? Is there a right side in this war? I... I don't know. Then perhaps you shouldn't pick one. down here last time. Oh, guess they moved. <gasps> there it is. Ah, you all made it. Welcome. Do you believe in fate, Sindri? Oh, of course not. You think I'd wash my hands this much if I thought that what I do doesn't ultimately matter? There's only one thing with any say over how we live our lives, and that's us. That might be my best piece yet today. A good fit. Giants always did enjoy hiding their secrets in plain sight. Wait until you see this.
Ah, yes. Here we have Groa's search for her missing husband. She was relentless in her attempt to find him. Meditated for weeks on end. Unfortunately, she found... something else. A vision of Ragnarok. Word of Groa's vision reached Odin. He sought her out, demanded a private retelling. Didn't like what he had, apparently. Ironwood? That's the... I don't know what that is. The mythical sanctuary for giants. Curious. So it's in Jotunheim? I know some giants thought so, but Ironwood isn't anywhere, lad. It's a concept, a metaphorical paradise. It's not real. Presumably, Groa requested her ashes be returned to Jotunheim, while her soul found peace in the light. Difficult to imagine Odin respecting those wishes. Hmm. The champion? I think it's supposed to be... me. You assume too much. Aye. Best not to read into these abstractions so literally. Prophecies are slippery by nature. Although, some are more obvious than others. Ragnarok. Aye. The end of everything. So this is it. There's nothing we can do to stop it. There must be a way. Why else is this hidden? Look, here. This is what we saw. It's you, fighting in Ragnarok. No, I don't. I can't. What's this then? That's new. Asgard is destroyed? The other realms thrive? And Odin dies. She lied. Roa lied. Of course she did. <laughs> Odin's working off a false prophecy. <laughs> so then, we can win Ragnarok. We can beat Odin! We are not present in any of this. But that was Tyr leading the charge against Asgard. Plus, Hell's army was there. And the elves. Champion. Okay, whoever that is doesn't matter. But for the first time, we know something Odin doesn't. We just saw we can win. Tyr? I won't allow prophecy to define my choices. But, but we just saw No, you. Atreus. This is wrong. Come. There is much to discuss. can't stop Ragnarok, but we can win it. If Asgard is destroyed, Odin will not be the only casualty. There must be another way.
Perhaps we should focus on our egress first. Agreed. Maybe you can throw us back at him. Now before more arrive.
Is over. It is far from over. I... It's gonna be okay, dear. You've seen what is to come. I told you I would not follow you to war, and yet here I am, dragging an innocent, innocent? elf and marching towards the destruction of Asgard. What choice do we have? There is always a choice. I will not lead you to war. I won't. I'm not that god anymore. I don't want to fight, but with you three, there is no avoiding it. Your path leads to countless deaths, unimaginable pain and suffering. Hey, Tyr? Thanks. And I'm sorry about before. I, I... No. I am sorry. I should never have come. We shouldn't linger.
Look, I just want to do the right thing. And according to prophecy... Speak no more of prophecy. War will not give you the purpose you seek, Atreus. Only slaughter. So what are we supposed to do? Roll over? Do nothing? Enough. We will discuss the next move when we are out of danger.
Can we leave now, please? Almost there. This way. Tear, we... Open the gateway, please. Yourself the legacy this one has left for the barons. I've had far more than I can stomach. We do not need to rush. We should. See